What's up, muscle car people? Bring it, muscle cars here, doing a car review at the track. We have the Peachy Brothers. It's actually Justin's down there. He's getting ready. Look at him. He's such a champion down there. Coming in fresh off of victory at the UMI Autocross Challenge. In Justin's 2007 Chevy Corvette V06. Is it? With a little bit of modification stuff to it. Running in Cam S today. Co-driving will be his younger brother, Eric, looking to beat him for a change. That's not usually the case. I'm gonna try to ride along and uh, tell you guys what it's like to ride in this thing that is running on 335 wide VF Goodrich rival tires. It has a Lexan back window. Well, I don't even know what the spoiler's made out of. Lexan. Lexan, again. And Justin's extremely competitive, guys, and he's not that bad of a driver either. So he's going to be hoping for maybe not fastest time of the day, but he's going to try to be up there. Trying to be good in packs. There's yeah. some faster cars here on Hoosiers. Good in packs, and uh, we'll try to give you a good review of this well-equipped autocrossing Corvette. had a couple runs in I went in the car had a had a nice experience with it tell us how it's doing right now the last run I had no ABS I went out right away and there's two big black stripes where I found out I don't have ABS I heard he's having problems with the wife <laughs> no ABS and I kind of made it work whatever Justin went out same issue and we put another fuse in and it worked uh, it keeps popping ABS fuses is what you're saying. Something. Something's weird. He said the other one looked fine, but... Is it still tail happy or did you fix that problem? Uh, yeah, I thought I was going to spin on my last run. Good. Up, up around the top. Good. Went into there. Went for the brakes before the finish and I... Uh, it'll make for, it makes it for cool, cool video. But, How many were runs you guys have left? I have to look.
when you're on a high performance car in between runs, you gotta get out, swap the numbers, check the ABS fuse again, make sure that's not blown. Did it work that time? I think the fuse was, it didn't look like it was blown, but I think it was just a bad connection or something. It's shorter than the stock fuse is. But the car is running well now? One more time. What's it? What's the car doing? I got ice mode at the final turnaround. I, I want to see your little dance move I to describe stop, it. I couldn't stop the car, so I just threw it in there and slid it in around the corner, <laughs> all the way sideways <laughs> to try to get the car <laughs> turned. Twice. <laughs> Are you gonna be ready? After that. As we mentioned earlier, Justin's running rivals on his car, and you've got two drivers essentially hot lapping the car, and what they're doing is spraying water on the tires to keep them cool so they don't get like melted essentially, and they still have grip out there. That's, that's what I was describing to the viewers. You are spraying water to keep the tires cool so they don't feel like don't melty and like mush. We ended up gritting next to Robert and Amanda Thorne's Honda S2000, otherwise known as the Big Bad Wolf, an infamous car that has brought them fame both in the Autocross Nationals and Tire Rack's One Lap of America. Even with Robert's precision driving, managing to take out two cones next to the timing bucket, but leaving the timing bucket unscathed, they were not immune from mechanical failures as well, and had to swap into the other S2000 they had with them that day to finish out their runs. All right guys, a day of autocross, what was it run? 17 runs down, <laughs> and the car's in one piece. How, how'd it go today? up and down kind of a lot of what could have been yeah i think our fastest runs both of us had dirty yeah so he did a 41 4 41 6 41 6 raw with the cane and i did a 41 i did two 41 fours with canes because i always hit canes i did a 42 clean i think i think my fastest clean is 42 9 so whatever it's and i i rode in the car today and it was violent and just visceral in every way you could imagine. The course was really fast. So it took, it took a set today. I hit the limiter at the one place, which is a little over 75. So. Like the car was violent and... It yeah, was, if someone were to get in this car for the first time and, you know, yeah, yeah. take them for an autocross, they might be in for a world of hurt. <laughs> yeah, like, we finally got it dialed in toward the end. It was so loose at the beginning, I kept upping the front compression more and more and it kept taking it at the end it handled amazing and now it just turned into canes <laughs> yeah yeah i was just over driving it and going drifting but, but you're what two tenths off fastest so far um yeah my roll time would have been two tenths off off of robert thorne's packs and yeah he's a national champion so i think that's a good gauge yeah but you have a v8 you should have beat him eh. there's no excuse man he has a lot of power. this is a muscle car channel and you you know you can't give S2000s credit. <laughs> but, all right guys. Thanks for watching Bring It Muscle Cars. Reviews, Justin's 2007 Z06 Corvette. I keep wanting to say CR1 all the time. And uh, it's Eric's birthday today, so. Uh, it's his tomorrow. It's Justin's tomorrow. But good birthday present, racing autocross. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys.